Hi guys, Sean Velasquez here. Welcome back to my channel and another brand new video. Today I am excited to share with you some brand new cruelty-free makeup brushes that I purchased on Amazon. Um, I will leave them linked in the description box below. I literally just went on Amazon and searched uh, cruelty-free makeup brushes, or I might have put in vegan makeup brushes, I can't remember. Um, and these came up, so I've had them for um, about a week and I've used them twice. I've actually used them to do my makeup today and I, I like them so much. They were so affordable. I bought two different sets and I will go through them now one by one. But basically, most of the makeup brushes I had were from MAC and MAC use um, real animal hair in their makeup brushes. And as we are now cruelty free, we will not be using these makeup brushes full of animal hair any longer. Um, I also do have a Bobbi Brown one in there because Bobbi Brown is also not a cruelty free brand. Um, and I actually also, I googled the E. Berlin brand, the makeup brushes from DM, and I think they came up as well that they were not um, cruelty free. So I went on Amazon, picked up these, and I'm gonna go through them with you now. So they arrived in this packaging here. It says makeup brushes Ami on the front. And then it has another plastic case around it. And this is what the brushes come in. On the Amazon website, it says that it comes in a luxurious leather case or something. Um, this, however, is definitely not real leather. It is faux leather. It really stinks. It smells like really chemical, like paint thinner or something like that. Hopefully the smell dies down a little bit. If not, I think I'm gonna have to purchase a different brush belt. Um, however, it has a snap on the front and then it opens like so. Then it has this flap at the top which just protects the brushes and um, stops uh, the makeup from, you know, the leftover powder on the brushes um, getting everything dirty. These are the brushes. It comes with 18 different brushes, if you can see there. And these are just so affordable. I think for the whole set, I either paid 13 99 or 14 99 Definitely under 15 euros for 18 brushes, which is fantastic. I'm gonna start at this end and show you the brushes one by one and what I personally will use the brushes for. First we have the large fan brush and the fan brushes come with an extra plastic covering which is great because it helps keep the shape of the brush uh, which is really important. This is what the brush looks like. It has a silver and gold handle design as do all the brushes and it's just so, so soft. So I've actually been using this. I saw Nikki Tutorials using this technique and I also saw I Love Sarai using this technique and I've actually been using this for my contour because I think it's better, better than using a more small compact brush because you can build up the color gradually um, and it just really gets right in the cheekbone perfectly. Really enjoyed this for contour um, and like I said it's really soft and does a really good job. Next we have the big powder brush. This one also comes with an extra plastic casing um, and this is, they are a bit dirty because I used them uh, before filming this video um, just so I could show you what I use them for. So yeah this is the biggest powder brush in the set. Again it's very very soft and this would be perfect for either um, foundation powder to set your foundation, um, but I use this for my bronzer. Uh, you can just get a lot of product on the brush and really evenly um, apply the bronzer here. Next we have this brush here, and you could maybe use this for foundation, however I think it's a little bit too soft, it's not dense enough for me to use for foundation. So I've actually been using this as my makeup powder setting brush. So just swirling my powder when I wanna set my foundation. Um, and because it is small, I can be a little bit more precise. And um, yeah, it just applies a really light amount of product. Which if I'm going for a more lighter look and I don't want a lot of powder, uh, this is a really good brush to use. Next we have this smaller powder brush and this is just the perfect size for blusher. I literally tap in my blush and just 
dab on the apples of the cheeks. It's perfect size. You could also use it for under eye powder um, or for contour, but I've been using it as my blusher brush. Next we have this flat foundation brush here. I absolutely hate these brushes. I think they're so useless. Um, but however, I would never use this foundation. I just feel like it leaves the foundation looking really streaky. Um, but I will use this to apply my primer. Normally I apply my primer with my fingers. I did use this today um, and it did apply the primer nicely. But when I'm doing makeup on another person, I don't like to go in with my fingers just for, you know, hygienic reasons. Um, so I will use a brush like this for applying primer. Now we're moving on to some eye brushes. The first one I have here is quite a compact tapered blending brush and it is quite stiff. So it's not a soft enough brush to uh, blend out the transition shade. You know, you want the transition shade to be really soft and blended. This actually would pack on too much color and it's not soft enough to really blend that out. However, this is a very, very good brush for that outer corner smokiness. If you can see, I did here the darker shade and I used this and you can be very, very precise with it because it is tapered. So I actually really enjoyed that to create the smokiness on the outside of my eye. And I also used this brush to smoke out my lower lash line and it just worked perfectly. Next we have this brush here. This again isn't my favorite style of brush. Um, it's quite thin and again, a little bit stiff, but I did use this for the more ready shade. Uh, I applied it here. Um, again, you can be quite precise in the crease because it is quite thin. So I applied the, the redder shade here and then I took a blending brush um, and blended that out. Again, you can't really blend out too well with this, but to actually apply the color initially to the crease is quite good and then take a fluffier brush to blend it out. Next we have this large shader brush and you can use this to apply eyeshadow to the lid to pack on the color. I used this today to actually set my eye primer, my eyeshadow primer, um, just because it's big um, and you don't really have to be too careful when, you know, just setting the eye, eyeshadow primer. So I just used a really light color to set the whole eyelid before I started applying any of my proper eyeshadow colors. And then we have this more precise small shader brush, very thin, and this is just perfect to pack the color on the lid. Uh, I didn't use any setting spray to make the brush uh, damp. I just went in dry and it picked up a really great amount of product and applied it really generously to the eyelid. Next we have this really small narrow brush and you can do many things with this. It's really personal preference. I use this today just to smoke out the top of my lashes. Um, you could also use this for brows if you prefer this style of brush. You could also use it for eyeliner, uh, gel eyeliner, um, or you could also use it to smoke out the lower lash line. Lots of different uses for it. Um, but again, a very, very good brush to have. Next we have this standard angled brush. Now an angled brush for me is a necessity in my makeup brush collection. I use this every single day to fill in my brows um, and I've been using powder a lot at the moment. Um, but you can use this for powder or gel. And I like this one because it's really small and really narrow, but the bristles are actually quite stiff and I prefer a stiffer brush when doing my eyebrows. I just feel like it gives me a lot more control of the product and it also packs on more of the color than if the bristles were softer. Um, so yeah, that's what I use today. And for my brows today, I used a Body Shop Eyebrow Powder Duo. I haven't used it for ages and I actually love it. And I really like my brows today. So yeah, this brush is a winner in this set. Next I have another favorite brush that comes in this set and it is literally a teeny tiny little shader brush and I actually use this today to clean up under my eyebrow um, and to highlight the brow bone slightly so it's just perfect it's so small you can really carve out the brow um, and then you can also use this as a brow highlighter 
Um, and also this brush would be perfect if you're doing a cut crease and you really, at the end of the cut crease, you really just want to intensify uh, the depth of the actual crease. You can go in with this and you'll get so much control and precision just to deepen up that crease area. This is a really good brush from the set. So next we have this brush here. It's like the one I just showed you before, but it is a little bit longer. Um, and you could maybe use this for inner corner highlight, uh, your nose highlight, um, packing on shadow. Um, you could do many things with this brush. I probably won't use this one too often because I prefer the smaller one. Um, but still, you could get use out of the brush. So all the brushes did come with this plastic um, wrapping on it. Um, but I've used most of the brushes, so I took that off. However, that is what it comes in. I haven't used this one yet. And this is a really small eyeliner brush. I call it a, an eyeliner brush. And you can use this for gel liner. You can get a really nice thin uh, line across the lashes and create a nice wing on the side. Um, it is a bit soft, so I'm not sure how much precision you will get with it but will be interesting to try that out. The last eye brush in this set is another necessity in a makeup brush collection, in my opinion, and it is just a standard pencil brush. Now this isn't my favorite, the material. It's kind of like one of those cheap brushes you get in like, an, like a drugstore eyeshadow palette. They always give you these naff uh, brushes. Um, so it feels a bit like that. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this one. I would use it to maybe uh, smoke out my lash line, um, but you're not going to get much of a blowout effect with it because, I mean, it's just hard. It's got no give to it. It's not soft. Maybe if you just want to apply a lot of product to the outer corner of the lower lash line, you could use this um, or possibly, again, for an inner corner highlight. Okay, we've got three brushes remaining in this set. The next one is a small fan brush. Again, it has the plastic covering just to keep the shape. And obviously, this is perfect for applying the highlighter. So I'm really glad this set had a, sm a big fan brush and a small fan brush in it. Then we have an eyebrow spoolie brush. That's what I call it, an eyebrow spoolie brush. They I'm so happy this is in there because it's really hard to get one of these, I think. Um, I used to use like tester mascara ones from MAC. Um, so now I've got this, obviously I just use this to comb through my brows and yeah, does the job perfectly. And lastly, I do not think I will be using this. I don't know why they still make these. I just find them so, I don't know. What are you supposed to do with it? I guess they're to comb out your lashes, but um, I've never used one of these. I don't know if you guys use these, but yeah. It's in the collection anyway. I won't use it, but I will keep it in there just so it all looks nice and tidy. <laughs> So yeah, they are the 18 brushes in this set. Just fold it up and it has a clasp right here. So it does fold up nice and tight and neat, which is good. However, in this set, there was no real foundation brush. So on the same search that I did, I came across these brushes too. And I just love that they were black and rose gold. So nice. They came in the same packaging, but they don't actually come in any case. So I will go through these pretty quickly. There are a lot of buffer brushes. So I've only used this one at the moment. It is a flat top buffer brush. It is quite soft, uh, but I used it today to apply my foundation. I like to circle it around and then uh, sh stipple, stipple, stipple it in. Um, but it does the job really well. It reminds me of my Zoeva 104 buffer brush, which I've still got. Zoeva do not test on animals either, um, but this is another great uh, brush for foundation and then we have three more so this one is a round top buffer brush it's a little bit more dense than the one before which uh, you can definitely use to give a bit more uh, coverage to your look the softer the brush the lighter the coverage the denser the brush the um, fuller the coverage you can get so this is a little bit denser um, but again, also good for foundation, could also be good for cream contour to buff that out. And then we have an angled buffer brush here. Uh, again, could be good for cream products, you know, foundation, cream blush, um, however you like. 
And the last one is another slightly angled uh, buffer brush. Uh, it's flat, it's more of a flat top than the one before. Um, but yeah, these are all just great. You can't get enough buffer brushes. You could also use this if you want like a really full coverage. You could use this in your uh, powder um, and use a makeup powder on top of foundation to, to uh, buff that in and then you'll get a really full coverage finish. It also came with this great tapered brush. Um, and I really like this brush. I used this today to set under my eyes because it is so tapered at the top. You can really get right close to your lashes um, and really set that concealer into place. Um, I really like this brush. Look at the look at the product. <laughs> uh, but I really like this brush, and uh, yeah, it's really soft and feels really good on the skin. So we have this one here, which is very tapered at the top and it is quite stiff. I used this today for my nose contour. Um, I just did some powder nose contour and I also used this to apply the highlight in the bridge of my nose, it worked perfectly. Then I have this um, angled duo fiber brush here and I actually used this on top of the fan brush just to intensify the highlight slightly uh, towards the back of my cheeks. Then we have this flat duo fiber brush here. I used this to pack on the highlight in my inner corner, worked perfectly. If you want a strong highlight, this will apply a lot of product, give you a lot of shine in there, as you can see. So that's good. Um, I haven't used this one yet. Again, it is an angled duo fiber brush. And the last brush, which is just perfect because it is bigger, it is softer. Uh, this is what I used as my main eyeshadow blending brush today. I use this as my transition and then I kept going back in with this to buff out those shadows just to make sure they are soft and not too hard. It worked absolutely perfectly. Uh, I'm really glad I got this brush. This will work really well with my Zoeva 228 brush as well. So yeah, those are all the brushes in the second set. Again, it didn't come in any casing, so I will just put it in one of my uh, makeup holder pots. Um, but yeah, I think I've got all the brushes now that I need for a while. Uh, I don't think I'm missing anything. I created this whole look using those two sets that I bought. Um, and again, this, this set here was really inexpensive, maybe 10 euros, something like that. I will leave some link down below so you can go and check them out if you would like. That is it for this video. I think it was quite a long one again, but I've just got so much to share with you guys. It takes time, you know? So hope you liked it anyway. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I just wanna say hello and welcome, and I will see you all in my next video. Until then, ich liebe euch. I love you guys. Bye.